All right, I'm actually in the middle of about three or four different projects, but I wanted to take a moment and film a quick video about how to remove the cigarette lighter from a uh, Porsche 996 or a similar generation Boxster. Because I ran into the need to do this, I looked online and I couldn't find any really good uh, videos outside of people just destroying it in the process, which wasn't gonna work. So um, I spent a little bit of time studying it and I'm going to now talk about how you actually remove it without destroying it from the trim. And I did find some people saying you can actually remove it without taking off the horseshoe or the trim. I don't think this is possible uh, based on looking at it. I think you actually have to take the horseshoe off. I would recommend taking the horseshoe off or the trim piece that it's mounted in. It makes it a lot easier. And then unplug it from the switches and um, take it out of the car because it's kind of a bear to take apart. So from the front, you see two pieces of it. You see this plastic ring and the cigarette lighter itself. Before you can worry about taking those out, you have to start from the back. And the first piece that comes off is this little black piece. And this little black piece is actually mounted on this little green piece. And it mounts on, it has some slots and some little tabs. It mounts on into this slot from the top. So it slides down and snaps into place. So to remove it, you need to slide it up. You might need to like work a little screwdriver under there, but it comes straight up and off. And there's a couple little tabs at the bottom too that you have to spread out when you take it out. So once you keep the black piece off, set that aside, the next thing that you have to deal with is this green piece. And the green piece is actually connected to the, um, to the clear piece. And I don't, I think technically you could leave the green piece on, uh, but just in the interest of being thorough, I took it off. So this one also snaps on more or less straight down and you can get a little screwdriver under this edge and kind of pop it out and you see there's two little grooves there that it snaps onto. Uh, I look to see, it doesn't look like you can slide it forward or backwards to take it off. It looks like it has to come straight up and off as well. And this actually has the uh, light bulb in it, I believe, for the illumination. Then, before you can actually take the um, clear piece out of the, out of the trim, you have to remove the, the kind of the main unit, the silver piece. And this piece uh, is removed basically by pressing out the clear tabs. And I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna snap this thing back together for demonstration purposes because it was, it was kind of annoying to get off. Uh, but when it is snapped together and you look down in there, you see that little uh, slot right there. And then there's a corresponding one on the other side. Those, and I'll show you here, correspond with, there's like a little, little tab here, and you can see it's kind of chewed up for me working on it with the screwdriver, and then one on the other side as well. So those appear through here, and you have to press them out as you're pulling this section out of the clear piece. Now, I eventually got it to go uh, by doing it from the back with the trim still attached and, and getting down in there it, in between the, um, the clear piece and the metal piece. You can kind of see a little bit of screwdriver damage there from where I pried it off on both sides while applying pressure from this side, kind of prying it to the side and eventually was able to pop it out and slide it out. And then once you do that, you can take the clear piece out of the trim. And in order to do that on my car, I had to rotate it slightly because this tab here is, is hidden by this like kind of beveled edge or extrusion. So rotate it slightly so you can get the screwdriver in there, push on that tab, there's one on the other side as well, push on that tab and this piece comes out. And then you have it uh, disassembled out of the car in pieces without destroying it, which was key. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them. I would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I'll continue to make more how-to videos as I fix things on my car.